welcome to week three of the Thrive Quilt Sew Along. We are just sewing blocks today. It's pretty easy peasy. We have some squares, we have some rectangles, squares and rectangles. That's really all it is. This is just going to be a quick demo on pressing. It's very similar to what we did in the grow quilts. I have my Taylor's clapper, I have my water, my spray, some kind of steamy, steamy goodness, and I have an iron. And I have my, I always do this, like I get it real close to my face and it is on, it is very hot. I have my cute little Lisso iron and I have um, a really nice wool pressing mat. And I like to set it up right next to my sewing machine so I never have to stand up. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Um, so I am making this unit. It's the, let's see, E and C unit in the purple quilt I'm making. I have a whole stack that I just chain pieced and now it's time to press. Join me. It's time for another quick pressing demo for the Thrive Quilt. This is very similar to Grow and how we press that. I'm using my wooden Taylor's clapper, my cute little Oliso mini iron, and a 100% wool pressing mat. I have sewn all of my pieces. Let's see, these are E and C pieces. This is my E and this is my C. Just nice little squares. So very simple. You can apply this method to really all quilts. Um, I like to press toward the darker fabric, so that's gonna be this burgundy. I'm gonna, I first set the seam. So I place a little heat, I just place my iron, I don't really move it. And then I open up my pieces and I finger press it open, just like that. So without any heat, this is when I'm actually opening up my, my block. And now I'm gonna do a little press just to get it right where I want it to be. I'm gonna, use some steam. You can use the steam setting on your iron. You don't have to use a spray bottle. I'm using a spray bottle, but whatever works for you. Um, here we go. And now I'm just going to, without trying to, I'll kind of still nudge it open a little bit, but I, it won't, it won't be pressure. There really won't be pressure there. So I'm just going to leave it. I can even remove my hand, just leave it for a few seconds till I think that it's completely dry. And then I place my Taylor's clapper and I'm just gonna put maybe just the weight of my hand, you know, just do a little dance. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now we're good. It's probably cool enough. And I peel it up. If I, if I give it a second to just kind of like get its bearings, that's even better. But you know, who has a second? We're, we're in a hurry here. It is so crisp and flat, people. Well, that's gotta go. So crisp and flat. I mean, just never gonna move. Never, ever, ever. And so then it's perfectly set and ready for me to sew the piece of D that is what's left over. 